Hey guys, so today I'm here with a hands-on of Firefox 4 Beta 1. Um, so guys, this just came out a couple hours ago, um, and I've had some time to run a few tests and to play around with it a little bit, and overall I'm pretty impressed. So guys, let's go ahead and just start with, you know, the most obvious thing, which is the interface. Um, so as you guys can see, it is, Firefox has made a big jump in this direction. Um, it's actually gone away from the, having the tabs on the bottom, and now it looks very similar to Chrome, but mostly Opera. Um, so as you guys can see here, you have the Firefox menu button. Button, which will go ahead and pull up a, a, a lot of your buttons and options and stuff. And then you have your tabs on top, and then you have you know your back buttons and address bar and all that kind of stuff. So guys, this looks extremely similar to Opera um, and also Chrome, which is not a bad thing, guys, just because the tabs on top idea works. Um, one small quibble about it, though, is that as you guys can see here with the Firefox button, it takes up this entire upper uh, section of the browser, and really there's nothing else there. Um, so I prefer the Opera's way of doing it, of you know actually having the tabs right beside it, or even Chrome of just not having a button there at all. Um, but you know that's not a huge deal; it's just a little bit of screen real estate. Um, so as you guys can see, Windows Arrow Glass is really heavily uh, in, uh, integrated. So as you guys can see here, the tabs are transparent. Everything is transparent when you're using Windows 7. Um, this is a great touch. And in addition, you also arrow peek. So all you have to do is just come down here and just hover over it, and you can go ahead and take a look at your different tabs, which is a great feature. Um, but guys, in case you're wanting to, you know, go back to the st same way Firefox used to be, of course it is Firefox and it's totally customizable. So let's go ahead, we can do a bunch of things. Come down to customize, we can go ahead and get rid of the tabs on top. So it's a more of a, you know, like a standard Firefox uh, layout. And if we want to go even farther, we can go ahead and customize, put the menu bar back. So as you can, guys can see, with just two clicks, we're pretty much back to where, you know, Firefox used to be, just with a lot of arrow glass. So guys, it's very customizable. Um, let's go ahead and just put it back to the way it was. So, you know, just go through here. Um, so, yeah, guys. So, of course, it's Firefox, and that's not even counting uh, themes, and it looks pretty good already. Um, so, guys, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about speed. Um, so, as you guys can see, it's a pretty fast thing. So, let's just go ahead and pick on a page. Um, guys, I've run a couple of tests on it. Now, do keep in mind that, you know, this has just come out. I will have a full browser comparison test before too long here. But just with my preliminary tests, it is a pretty decent step up. Um, so, as you guys can see, I ran the Peacekeeper benchmark. Um, I ran it with several browsers. I ran it with Opera 10.0. Six, um, the latest beta build of Google Chrome, um, Safari 5, the 3.66 uh, 6, of uh, Firefox, and then the beta 4. As you and as you guys can see, Firefox beta 4 is quite a bit faster. Um, I'm sorry, not beta 4. Firefox 4 beta, all these crazy names. Um, so as you guys can see, it's a decent step up. Um, but guys, actually, I wouldn't really pay too much attention to this. Um, of course, you know, Opera is almost twice as much. Um, but actually, I really like the speed on it. It is actually really quite fast. So guys, I mean, this is kind of something hard to show you guys in a screencast. It's really something that you need to download it for yourself. Um, but in general, guys, I'm coming off of Chrome, and I really haven't noticed any kind of major difference. Yeah, maybe a half second here, a third of a second here. But really, guys, in practice, you're not really going to notice anything. Um, so guys, of course, one of the bigger things that was just released on the main build of Firefox was crash support. Um, now guys, personally, this was one of the major things I've always had against Firefox, or at least in recent years, is that it is very crash prone. I mean, you know, it's always crashing here, um, usually because of Flash and stuff. As you guys can see here, we'll just go over to my channel. Um, of course, Flash works just fine, but the thing is, let's say I'm watching this video and halfway through, f Flash dies, which is, you know, something pretty common. Well, instead of, you know, crashing the entire Firefox browser, it will basically just wait a few seconds, and if it's still not responding, you'll basically just get a, a tab page very similar to in Chrome, where it just says, you know, it, it uh, Flash died or whatever, and you're all set. You don't, you know, you don't lose anything, which is really great. Um, so yeah, guys, that's about it. There's not a whole lot to say. Um, I will, of course, have a full speed test um, because I do think there's more to it. I think that Peacekeeper, it's it's a pretty good benchmark, but you know, just in real world testing, Firefox 4 is pretty fast. Um, so guys, go ahead if you want to go ahead and check it out. Um, this is, of course, the beta. Go ahead and hit the link in the description. You can go ahead and download it for yourself today. Try it out. See what you think. Um, so yeah, guys. Anyway, thanks for watching.